G'day and welcome, I'm Astro and today we're going to do a bit of a review and a rundown of the Makita lawnmower here. Alright, let's get straight into it. So this is a Makita self-propelled lawnmower, 36 volt. It's a model number DLM 536. So what we've got in front here is everything that comes with it. Uh, we've got a catcher, there's a side chute, and then there's a rear chute blocker there in the middle. Uh, comes with the four batteries and the double double charger. The double charger also has a USB port on the front. So on this lawnmower, it has 10 heights of adjustment. Uh, the red handle is safety so you need to press this button and pull this lever back in order to engage the blades this here is the self propel so you don't need to have this engaged in order to self propel it it will drive without it on the control module so we have speed here so depending on how fast or slow you walk or how thick the grass is the battery monitor here so if you click this button once the batteries are inside that unit which I'll show you in a moment uh, it'll light up and tell you how, how charged your batteries are it has a silent mode here but it's already whisper quiet as it is and obviously an on and off switch so it runs on two banks of batteries at a time so you've got bank number one and bank number two and also just a when one goes flat flick the switch and keep going it also has a kill switch so no one can steal it or use it when you don't want them to and then a protective lid over the top it's a very well built machine all right so i'll uh, reconfigure it in a few different ways and show you how they're reconfigured and then we'll get into the operations of the machine Okay, so this is simply using the catcher. You don't need the side chute or the chute blocker. This stays closed to keep the airflow and it pushes everything out the back here. Obviously straight into the catcher. Very intuitive little system. Right, the next configuration. All right, so to configure this next one, we take this chute blocker goes straight in that hole there. There's a little button here, push, locks in, it's in there no problem at all. Nothing comes out the side and then we simply, let's see if I can do this, it's not quite lined up, here we go, and that's the shoot blocker so now it'll shoot everything out of the side here Instead of straight back at you. So shoot blocker and side shoot. The handle sits relatively tall but there is two adjustments so if you wish I'm six foot two so I have it in the upper position but uh, if you're a shorter person you can certainly change this bolt here and drop it into the lower hole and uh, it'll suit the slightly shorter people. Okay so the batteries are very easy to install they're a 5 amp hour lithium 18 volt battery. And that's how easy it is. Upside down, push and click. And that's it. Close the lid and you're ready to go. Alright, so I'm going to give it a quick run now just so you can see how it mows. I've already done one little quick strip, but just to give you an idea of how tall we're looking, probably six to eight inches tall, depending on the spots we're in. So we'll run through this and uh, I'll show you how well it mows. All right, so the first thing we need to do is select which battery bank we're gonna use. I'm a bit OCD, so it's always one, two for me. We're also going to probably adjust the height very simple, one-handed, but uh, I'm going to get a bit ambitious, I think, and uh, I'll run it on 
number three, which is pretty low. Alright, so simple, switch it on. So we've got a green light there now. The battery monitoring system, like I said, it's telling us that we are one battery's down, one bar. But other than that's pretty good. And then that's our whisper quiet mode. So I'll just show you walking pace and speed first and we'll go from there. Okay, to make it move. That's it, and we're off. Now if we want to increase the speed, which you can do on the fly, just adjust this dial here. So let's try and do that one-handed somehow. Okay. And I'm fair walking right now. Alright. So now we're going to engage the blades. One handed operation, pretty easy. Push that in. And that's it going full noise now. Uh, just got to hold that on. As soon as you drop that, it cuts out. I'll try that again. petrol now we'll have a look at the cut that it's just done very neat cut that's absolutely beautiful all right so I'll reconfigure it now and I'll throw the catcher on and you can see what the catch is like but yeah, no effort needed just pull the trigger and go Attaching the catcher is very, very simple. Just a couple little hooks. They hook onto these bars just under here. One on that side, one on this side. Grab the handle right in the middle. Just sit straight over like that. That's it. Very simple. Then they close the door. Alright, now let's give it a run and uh, show you what it's like with the catcher on and we'll put it into silent mode as well or whisper quiet mode as they call it whatever okay so we're going to do a comparison whisper quiet off and on so currently it's off on in the quiet mode marginal difference but it is it is quieter I can talk on the phone with my hand free with this mower no problem and no complaints about noise on the other end all right let's give this catcher a run but let's just go full noise if you let go of the drive, the drive button <laughs> a newbie and when the machine's not in operation after a while 
it automatically turns itself off and that saves you power which I think is a fantastic feature but very simple touch button kick it back into gear short little run. I did say the grass was pretty long. It does fill the catcher nicely. It fills it all the way to the back. Some lawn mowers I've had don't quite fill it to the back but this one certainly does as you can see. Okay so we've just dropped it. On the back side here we have a handle. Very simple. Pick it up. Don't have to shake it. It's empty. Nice PVC skid plate on the bottom, everything just slides out. There's a mesh, so it does breathe, and that's why it fills up great. Let's have a look at uh, our high speed mowing, see how well the cut is. So, we came this way, just get a bit of a look. High speed, it still cuts great. Same thing here, you can see a nice clean defined edge and if you notice it didn't leave any clippings, it picks it all up. Okay we're back in the shade now, it's much cooler in here, but uh, how does it mow? It mows great, I, I can't really fault it, it's, it's equivalent to a petrol I would say, it's equivalent to any petrol I've ever had anyway. So. It's a good, it's very sturdy, it's very solidly built, nothing shakes around. The wheels are big so it has a, uh, it rolls over stuff quite easily. No. You don't have to turn it off, but I always turn it off when I'm done. Because the first thing that normally happens is the batteries come out. And because we're using bank number one, to get the batteries out by the way, you just push this button in. And then they just slide straight out. Okay, so next thing we got to do once we get these batteries out is charge them. So they clip in the same way, just in reverse, so from the back to the front. They still remove by pushing this lever. Something I forgot to mention too, every battery has a battery monitor on it. So this one's got two bars of charge. This one has two bars of charge. So in addition to the, to the mower having battery monitors on there, each battery does also. Now, with this charger, there's a little hidden feature that a lot of people don't know. So, I think the first thing we should do is plug it in. Switch it on. Now we've got flashing indicators to say, hey, there's power going to it. So, slide it in. As you can see, it's a one-handed operation. So when it's, in, when it's charging, you get a red light. When it's completely charged you'll get a green light and you also have a something's gone wrong light and on the side panel here it'll display what's what okay also give you the indication of roughly how charged the battery is now while this battery is charging there is a feature that we can do with this machine so when it finishes it plays a little tune so if you hold this down and do 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 do. And 
think there's six or seven different tones you can do. So when this battery finishes, that's the tone it's going to play. Now we can do the same on this side. When this battery finishes, it'll now play this tune. So you can have each battery the same tone, or you can have them individually set. So you need to uh, charge a battery for a drill, for example. So you have one set. Okay, that one's ready to go. Off you go. How long do the batteries last? I can typically do a complete house block on the four batteries. So these two plus the two in the machine. Um, so yeah, that'll give me a standard 700 block, roughly. Uh, unlike petrol mowers, um, petrol mowers you can only tilt them backwards to do your servicing and blades. And that's because the oil runs up into the head of the motor. But this being electric, we have no problem just gently laying it on its side. So I thought I'd show you quickly. It's a four blade design. It's, um, yeah, it cuts nice and clean. Would I buy this mower again? If I lived in a residential area, I absolutely would. Just me being on two and a half acres, the ride on's far more practical for what I need. Give you a... So that's the model number there. It's, uh, it's, it's a really good machine. Oh, I rate it. I think Makita have done a bloody good job on this particular um, tool, I guess you could call it. And uh, There's nothing really I would change about it. It goes well, it cuts well, it's got plenty of height adjustment. At the moment, like I said, we were, we were mowing on setting 3. Let me just take this out quickly and I'll show you. And that's how easy it comes out. Those two hooks, just hook onto the bar underneath this flap, just like that, and it all sits closed. This is spring loaded and that holds it down. But that's the height we're looking at there. I'll sit you on the ground here and I'll give you a look. So that's level 1. Level 2, level 3, we're looking at level 6, that's level 9, and that's level 10. And uh, I mean, you can nearly go off road with this thing. So, for those who've got longer grass, it is fantastic. I currently only have the two batteries in here at the moment the other two are on charge. So we'll flick that to number two and see if it works. Switch it on and away we go. Rolls quite nice. I mean I'm one-handed at the moment just gently pushing it. One finger. Yes it is on concrete but I think you understand the point I'm trying to make. Alright guys, well I hope you found this useful, informative in some sort of way. This thing is wicked. For what it is, it's wicked. Hope you enjoy. See you next time. Peace out.